Insecurity has become pervasive with several men and women mowed down daily by criminal elements. And for the lucky ones, they can't sleep with their eyes closed. Obviously, communities cannot keep silent in the face of evil and daunting challenges. Something urgent is required to be done. About two years ago, there is a kidnapper. This is our area. Everybody ran. So it was the work of the governor and the state to make us stay. Because up to now, people have never come back. But we thank God that the kidnapper has stopped. Thank be to God that government respond to us. And that's what you can see that the security people that are there, that they are working for us. They started to key to the national security outfit. On the road, we have security lights. If you come here in the night, you will you'll be glad to, to stay here for days because it's so, it's so beautiful. That light also have helped us to contain security uh, uh, risk. Let's take a trip to Okeira Community Development Association in Ojodu Local Council Development Area to see how collective will of the people was able to checkmate crime and criminalities in the community. Okeira CDA has a growing population of thousands residents. It is located inside Ojodu LCDA. The community was structured to be largely residential the presence of people from all levels of social economic status. Okera is a settler community. You know, it's a settler community in the sense that various tribes converge here to develop Okera. For instance, I came to Okera in 1974, you know, and uh, I built my house here. And when I came here, the whole of Okera entirely is forest not even bush forest you know so i was here with one or two other people and we are living here staying here then okera is surrounded by swamp and it's a farmland you know so that people from other neighboring communities like akiode aguda uh, ojodu uh, yeah, yeah, all the surrounding communities, they have to pass through the swamp to get to Okera. So that brought about, uh, when they ask you, where are you going? I'm going to Okera. Okera in general is a farmland where people from neighboring communities come to farm. So that's why the name crops up. What I considered at that time was that the government didn't even see this place as part of Lagos State. And when a uh, local government chairman came, he made the report that, ah, is this part of Lagos? Mm -hmm. That is to show you how irrelevant we were at that time. Mm -hmm. And that threw a challenge to me personally. And um, that was how we started. We map out the programs we want. We wanted a center, we wanted a community bank, we wanted a police post, we wanted a market. But none of this we had. And that, that was how we started. Evidently, Ira community witnessed modern development with its attendant threats. But at that time, there is no police post, no security in Okera. And security was number one at that time. There was a threat to life and property. Because before that time, if there is anything happened that we yeah. have to report to police, we have yeah. to go to Sokoko, which is far distance. Fortunately for us, Ira G, command is very near us here and fortunately again Penn Cinema because we are under Penn Cinema division you know they are there too so we have enough uh, commands to assist us here and uh, every time there's patrol you know the vehicular patrol of the police day and night so that this has stemmed the rate of uh, crime. Meticulously Members of Ira community were able to marshal their self-effort to re-engineer the community for the betterment of not just one, but other surrounding communities in the area. We discovered that the population is uh, rising, you know, and becoming much. That's why we thought of building the police station. That was in 2006. In fact, this police station project was, you know, uh, 
the foundation lean ceremony was done in 2006 and it was the community efforts everything you see there governor ambody's effort is to reduce crime and the crime is rate is being reduced every day with the establishment of all these uh, enforcement people. You know, for example, we have neighborhood around us now patrolling this and that. If anything happens, we can easily cause it. You understand? Its aim is to reduce the crime. If not, just vanish it. It's not possible because it was all done in the Bible or Quran. Criminals will always be. You understand, but to reduce it to minimum. With the establishment of these police posts amongst other community-oriented projects, it is safe to say that the coast would be clearer for residents sooner than later. However, the completion of the police post extension is germane in this critical time. While appreciating the egalitarian style of leadership of the present administration in Lagos State in all facets, Okaira community is soliciting support from government, corporate organizations, and well-meaning Nigerians to partner with them in this developmental course. Security for one is security for her. We are so lucky that we have a government that is uh, grassroots friendly, and that is in the person of uh, our amiable uncle, Ambode, you know, who has made uh, CDA, CDC, as part of his Pavota projects, you know, to listen to them first as the last uh, connecting link to the society. We need the assistance of the government to make sure they assist us in the community to build the police post as police station so that we can have reinforcement of the, the staffs into the community. We can have the vehicles to go around the community. This facility is not sufficient to cope with the area of coverage, covering the whole of Okira, the first Okira, the second Okira, Aguda, Omole, Yaya Baton. The Okira police, it has to be police, the police, uh, uh, divisional police station. We should be independent because of the large area uh, under cover by this place. The establishment of the CDA, CDC in Lagos is being improved by every government, but by Ambode is more than before. You understand? He lay emphasis on the CDA. He wants, he wants grassroots intervention in his government. You understand? Anything he wants to do, he wants it from the grassroots. He's taking us along than any other government. You understand, and we appreciate it. Now that Baga Bridge is built for us, we want to change the name of that Baga to Ambody because Baga was a contractor, and Baga's name was not uh, registered in our local government. So we want to register Ambody. Tell our people like that. We want to change that place to Ambody place. God bless you.